so guys this is a 2 mp egg vision ip camera so if you find yourself um, in this position where the pins are very bad and causes no connection or video loss so here is what to do in this scenario but first let me show to show to you that the connection uh, port that's the um, network port of the camera is bad so let us quickly have a test of that so testing the camera i will uh, bring it down and um, open your sadp tool for eVision cameras so um, what i'm going to do is i'm going to connect the lan um, cord that's the patch cord network cord uh, you might call it network cord so i'm going to connect this network cord to the camera and then plug it to the pc also i will power my camera uh, because i'm not using a poe switch i'll power my camera separately so in this scenario um the power port is not damaged you can see um, you can see the light on the camera uh, if you watch the uh, monitor if you watch the pc um, the screen of the pc you would see that um, our software tool has not um, connected with the camera uh, we'll try and um, click refresh refresh so if um, the network port was good um, the camera IP address is going to show our uh, display on the SADP tool but right now we don't have um, any display so in this case I will show you quickly what um, you can do if you find yourself in a site or um, a location where you have bad network pins and you want to quickly salvage this situation so um i'm going to show you what to do as you can see on the screen there is no um, connection there so in the next phase i'm going to show you what to do in this case so um usually i'm going to cut um the network um the bad uh, port away from the camera i'm going to cut it and then um the network port as well i'm going to the network cord as well i'm going to cut it and then physically join this together so let's go uh, so um I'm going to share um, a color code so that when you are joining you have to join with the correct color code um, it will show on the video just um, next to the screen okay so here is um, would, um Pierce the cable open the cable and uh, so what we've done we've opened the cable for we've um exposed the cable for the cameras and then we're going to do the same for this um, patch cord I'm going to open the cables um, and um, we're going to join them so it's very important that we know the color codes to join so that you have um, good connection mind you after joining you can also um, use directly on the poe switch even without um, using the power adapter for the camera it is very very effective so um, we're going to join each cable um, with the direct and correct color code 
so this is the color code that we are going to be using to fix this um, camera <clears throat> so for um, if you look towards the left you see camera wire color um, this is the um, your camera this is your your camera wire the color codes on the Igvision 2MP uh, IP camera so this is the color <coughs> codes <coughs> excuse me um, so um, if you look at um, the next um, colon which is uh, labeled T568A so this is um, your network cable that's your patch cord so you can either use T568A or T568B but here in um, Nigeria we use T568B um, that's the format that we use in coding our network cables here um, I think this is the British um, standard um, so using the T568B what we're going to do is we're going to join the camera wire color to the corresponding color on the T568B so we're going to be joining white to brown a solid brown and then brown to um, and then we'll be joining brown from the camera to stripe brown on the network or patch cord then blue on the camera you'll join it to green that solid green on the patch cord then gray on the camera will be joined to stripe blue on the network cord then purple on the camera should be joined to solid blue on the network cord then green on the camera they um, should be joined to stripe green uh, yellow on the camera will be joined to orange that's solid orange then orange will be joined to stripe orange on the network cord so um not all ip cameras have this same um color on their on their um on their cameras so um there is another image i'm going to be sharing that's for other cameras um you so i'm going to be sharing two images this is the first one and then we're going to be comparing the two at the end of the video so for this purpose um let's use the first figure at the end of this video i'm going to share with you um, the second um, image so that other one you can use for uh, cameras that have that kind of color code in the other one we have um, red we have black we have purple um, brown as well so we're going to be comparing that as well okay also note um um, that while joining make sure that your joints <clears throat> are tight and then your your cello tape that's the insulator is properly um, done so that you would avoid um, water inside um, gaining access into you know your joinings which could also rust you know the joinings again and you might have similar problem but um my advice once again is once you insulate um all the cable all the joinings and all try and um get a box to protect um the cable from water and ash weather condition okay so um our camera is ready so let's go and plug it to the <clears throat> PC and see if it will come up okay so let's do that uh, so this is the PC um, what we're going to do we'll power the um, camera and then we'll connect the other end of the patch cord to the PC as you can see this is the join this is the join and then the other part or the other end will be connected to the PC um, so stay tuned and uh, let's test this together again 
so guys um if you've not subscribed um to my channel kindly do so um like comment and let us know um the kind of videos you'd want to see the kind of review you want to see um moving forward and don't forget to turn on notifications so that anytime i post pic um videos like this you'll be the first to get notified okay so our camera is on let's open our sadp um tool as the camera tool for ig vision okay so yes um so because um <clears throat> This is um like the first um use of um this SATP on the system on this system and most of the things I'm doing here you can see the camera is up we can see it's up is active okay um so let's try and log into the web um interface of the camera so we will double click it if you notice um the ip address of the camera is 192.168.254.5 so it says it cannot be reached so um this is a problem um and this is because the ip address of the camera and that of the pc are not on the same class so what we'll do is we're going to go and edit the um ethernet uh, the lan port um ethernet for the um, pc and set it to be on the same class with that of the camera so that they can communicate and um, display on our web so here is what we'll do we'll go to the um the ip that's internet protocol version 4 we'll edit um we'll edit the ip address that's one nine two one six four. Let's give it um hundred two five four dot hundred and click on OK to close close your windows close um yeah we'll close this window as well close this one as well so let's um double click again to view <clears throat> so you can see this time around um we have the login interface so you put in your username and then password okay so um now we can't see live view because um, we're supposed to download some plugin um using um chrome so the best um exp uh, the best um internet uh, uh, browser to use is the explorer i prefer to use the explorer so uh, open my internet explorer and um, paste my camera ip address here okay <clears throat> i'll paste my camera ip address here so because um again this is the first time i'm using ethernet explorer on this um pc okay i've logged in will be asked also to download or install the web uh, component okay so you click on that link you um, run you click on run to download the web component so this component allows it's a plugin that allows the um, video to display on this um, interface so after <clears throat> after that I'll refresh so beneath you see allow you click on allow and um, here we are so you can see this is me at home testing this you can see the camera is labeled gen area so where it was um picked out from was um the, this is the camera looking at the gen area at the location where it was installed so this is me and um problem solved so this is the second um um color code that um you could um use for other types of camera if you study it you see that on the camera wire colors 
you see purple blue orange green yellow red brown and black so if you meet this kind of color you can use this code so you can take a screenshot of that and um, save it so that you can use it at um, any time you need to use it and um, this is our color this is the color code we used for this um experiment for this sample um, for this teaching for this video this is the color code that we used so guys you can save it screenshot it and um, have it for use for any of your project so i wish you guys um luck um, kindly um like comment and then subscribe if you want to see more videos like this let me know in the comment section and um don't forget to turn on the notifications so you get to uh, see our videos as it drops uh, see you in the next video guys thanks for watching bye